Hello again, welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. On this episode, my fire suppression system just arrived. So uh, this thing has been a back order for a while from Summit Racing, finally showed up, and I want to get this thing plumbed before I start the wiring because these are hard lines, uh, they're aluminum, and once I get those in, it's a little easier to get wires around them than vice versa. So that's why I'm gonna plumb this in first. Uh, so follow along and we'll uh, do this together. So let me show you kind of what I'm gonna do. So I'm thinking the unit's gonna go back into here. Kind of like this. This way I can pick up that part of the frame there. I might have to weld another bracket going across. Not sure yet, but uh, this, is, this is what I'm thinking. And then from here, I'll have the, the uh, nozzles and the pipes, so the tubes, come out and down. Uh, one to cover the fuel tank, one to cover the engine, and then another one will come forward and down. And those two will go into the passenger compartment, probably up underneath the dash. Um, not really sure yet. i got to kind of figure out uh, where to put that. Um, yeah, so that one I'm going to have to kind of figure that one out but this is what i'm thinking right now as i said there's that one tube right here i can tie into that that'll get this thing nice and secure um yeah so this is what i'm thinking so let's go see what's in the box so in the box we've got our uh our valve assembly here and as you can see hopefully i got this the right angle here uh, this valve assembly, you got the pull pin here, and then the, the pull cable, which goes into the dash, I believe slides in like this. Ow. And then this thing actually ties in with that set screw, and then we cut that extra off. And then at that point, you can pull this one out, and this thing is armed. So as long as this one's in there, uh, it cannot go off if you pull a pin. And once this is pulled, and you pull the handle, install but as i said i want to make sure this plumbing is is tight clean you know so i'm thinking you come out here down here down i gotta watch out because there's that tube right there so i might have to jockey this around to clear uh this tube because you can see it runs you can see it runs this way right here so i gotta make sure i clear that so it may have to be back far enough to go into here and yet still mount this bracket onto that. So we'll start laying this thing out. Uh, as I said, I may have to do a little bit of welding up underneath there. I don't want to pull this panel here out again because that one's a real bugger to get out. And every time I do it, I know it's just risking to uh, screw up the roll cage. So that's about it. Follow along and we'll get this thing installed. So I'm going to try to get this thing laid out here. First off I want to do is I want to put this tape down where the, hope you guys can see this, put the tape down where the, uh, I think that's about right. So then I'm gonna put the bottle back on on top of that. See, so if I did this, I could actually punch, take this off. So I did it here. Let me go get the nozzle and screw that thing on a little bit so I can get an idea of where these lines are going to come in at. I may even flip this bottle around the other direction, but then it's going to be hard to get to the pin. So let me get the nozzle. So here's where the nozzle, uh, it's not seated, so don't worry about that. So then I'm thinking if I do this, turn that one down, this one down, I think that and then I can actually pick up two holes here and here to mount down to that, make a plate for underneath the back support back into here. Yeah, I would like to get a little closer to this, but... And that's still, I might even be able to take this one line here do a 90 and then come down into here. That's the thing, you just, I'm not gonna be able to bend that very sharp. Let me play around with stuff, see how easily that stuff's gonna bend. Okay, so I put a, just a practice bend in this stuff to kind of get an idea of where I'm gonna be. Yeah, see that's gonna be a little bit tight. I 
I mean, I guess I could always trim that off a little bit and that could get me in there. As I said, I'm gonna have to go a little bit forward because that bar is gonna be right into here, I believe. And look inside, get an idea what I'm dealing with. So I'm gonna tape off. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda make an outline so I know exactly where this thing is going. There we go. Okay, so now I can pull the bottle off the bracket. And, uh... Then we'll get the bracket bolted down, remount the bottle, and then we can start uh, running some lines. This thing should be pretty quick and simple to do, but we'll see. I said this before, and you end up into all sorts of trouble. So, drill the holes. Uh, this one and this one here actually pick up the frame member uh, So this thing will be securely bolted in down to the frame and it'll be going nowhere Okay, so there we go So that's uh that's the plan right there. So we'll uh, get this thing bolted down. A couple of these will be right into the metal, but the two, these two big ones, they'll actually be down into the chassis. So yeah, nice work. All right, we'll continue on. So we got the thing, uh, we got the uh, fire suppression bottle mounted. This is where it's going. So it's actually picked up this frame member here, which I need to get a quarter uh, inch long by probably about two inch long bolt here. The rest of them in the aluminum, but I got two full bolts into the chassis, which is probably all it needs. Uh, so now I gotta start figuring out how quickly I can make a 90 degree bend. And uh, then we will make a bend and start a tube down where I'm gonna pick up a junction right underneath this. Um, I figure that way I can branch one back towards the fuel tank, uh, the other one towards the engine compartment. And then this front one here will go down into here forward and probably out both sides into the passenger compartment uh, probably one this way and one that way that's kind of what i'm thinking um i think i got the whole car pretty well covered then with uh, fire suppression so we'll uh play around with this and see what i can do continuing on with the fire bottle um doing something a little crazy here i'm actually going to put in bulkhead fittings here and we're going to do braided line from this bottle on down i'm doing that for Hold on here. Uh, and I'm doing that for one reason. I don't want this tube, uh, you know, they got this, I'm, so I'm gonna run a braided line from here into here, uh, probably about like that. Uh, I just think that'll look good, clean. Uh, and then that way it's easy to get this bottle out if I decide to, it's two connections bumping out. And that just makes life easier than running a hard tube all the way in. Yeah, is it SF or FIA certified or anything? I'm not really sure, but if I have a fire this close to the back of, you know, my head, eh, this thing's not going to do anything anyhow. So this will just kind of keep it clean and simple and uh, should look good back here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I got the bulkhead fitting in here. Now I'm going to make up some uh, Dash 4 braided line and uh, we'll get those two attached and uh, see how this whole thing ends up looking. I think this should be a, a slick setup. Showing you all how to make a braided line. Um... Boy, I'm gonna have to cut these things. Those look like crappy ends. See how they're all crushed? Hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna have to tape this off and uh, then we'll go onto one side, make the line, then we'll do the other side and uh, see what we got. But I'm always going to take some tape. And we're just gonna shorten these up just a hair to get a nice clean uh, thread. And I'll cut this with a high speed or a cutoff wheel. I try to get the tape on here really tight so it holds the strands. And uh, I'll cut that one. So uh, I'll show you how to put these fittings on. So I've got it cut. Very carefully peel back the tape without trying to disturb the strands too much. So then this, and I'll even leave that little bit of tape on the end. The nice thing, dash four is pretty small. So this will get until it bottoms out. 
sometimes I'll even smack it on something. I'll put a paper towel down and just give it a good whack. But you want to get that tube so it's bottomed out on the on the unit. Once you got the, the tube so it's seated up against this fitting here, um, at that point you're going to put a little bit of oil on here. So I put just a, just a just a little bit of oil on there, and then this thing will screw in, which will expand this against that fitting. Um, I don't know what kind of PSI these are rated for, but I know it's pretty dang high. So, and then I'll put this in my vise, paper towels, and crank that thing down. And yeah, there are aluminum jaws and all that kind of stuff. I don't have it. So you just, you know, if you're careful, you end up with no issues. Okay, so that's it. And then we'll go in, put this in the car. We'll measure, make another cut, and get the other side done. I'm going to put this into here. Oh, sorry about that. I had a funny feeling I was blocking that. So put this into here. Now I'm going to kind of bend this over and get an idea of where I'm going to make a cut. I think I'm going to cut it right about there. Okay, so we'll make that cut and we will get the other fitting on. Yeah, it's be a little bit tight, but uh, this hose is pretty flexible, so it'll bend okay. So we'll cut this here and then we'll get this one here on there and we should be good. One thing I did notice, I got the lines a little close to the bottle and so they are not, these are not going to go on down into here with the, um, the bottle in. So those have got to go in first, then slide the bottle in. Uh, it's that tight of a fit. Not what I really planned for, but yeah, sometimes, you know, it's just crap happens. So I think these have got to go on here first. That looks damn nice. Uh, I think it was better than hard tube. Uh, it just looks clean. Uh, and then I can run the firing mechanism up through here, which will come straight up. And that'll also be a very clean uh, install. As I said, that way you'll just have one line, the line that the firing pin will go down into there and that's going to go up on the dash somewhere but uh, this way i can get this thing in and out of here pretty quickly so now it's on to the hard lines so we'll get up underneath and start plumbing the hard lines in I said one's going to go up underneath the dash probably the driver the other one i might run two into the engine compartment not sure yet so but uh this looks good i like the way that turned out so i started running the tubes um as you can see i got the one it runs down here. Well, I can't show you all this. Runs up behind, up underneath the tube, which I still got to straighten it out and get it connected. And then it's going to come up into here. Uh, this actually could spray up underneath the dash into the whole brake foot assembly and back into this way. So I think that's probably my best way to keep the driver safe. Uh, I got nothing for the passenger, so you don't want to ride in this car uh, as a passenger. The driver's side, I'm going to come in here and I think I'm going to come out about here. Do a little 90 degree turn and then put the nozzle right here. That's what I'm thinking for this. That way I kind of cover both headers, the fuel system. Um, I think that's probably my best bet for there. So I'll start bending that hose, that tubing next. As I said, uh, this, is a, this is a lot longer in install than I thought and hoped for. So. so we're continuing on with our fire suppression system. And I got to tell you, this has been a lot of work. Uh, I thought it'd be a couple hour install. I think I may be going on six. Uh, just a lot more work than I thought. So I'll show you kind of what I've done. I'm going to come out here and here in the firewall so I can get both headers, uh, fuel system areas covered. Um, so you can see that I just kind of did a 90. These things, I guess, are supposed to be facing downward, which they are. I guess the dirt and stuff doesn't collect in there. Um, both tubes, as I said, they run from here. As you can see, I got these uh, bulkhead fittings. Hopefully you can see that up into there. Tube runs down, down the chassis over up to T fitting where it'll pick up both engines. And then over here, you can see where the uh, passenger one comes out. The pull handle is gonna probably be right in the middle of the dash. I'm thinking of picking up where the uh, key's supposed to go since I'm not gonna have a key in this thing. I can use the hole in the dash, but I think I'm gonna have to support it probably off of this tube uh, with some sort of bracket because you gotta pull pretty tough on that thing. 
And uh, I don't know if the dash, I bet you just flex. So I'll probably have to put some sort of little bracket, make a bracket. So I'm almost done. As I said, I got to finish making this one over here. And then I'll try to bend that in a little bit tighter and neater once I get this thing kind of finished up. So yeah, keep following along. So what I did, I couldn't quite show you this. I bent this around a socket to get a tighter 90 and then I'll straighten this part here out. And I think that should get me where I want to go. So we're gonna put this into here. So let's see how that works. Yeah, sometimes you gotta improvise, you know, you don't have all the benders and everything, I yeah, marred the tube a little bit, that's all hidden, so let's, uh, I think that should be tighter. That should just about be where we need to be. Oh, that's perfect now. Okay, so now you can see we're tucked up in here, so now I can cut this, flare that, and uh, we can get this thing finished up. So yeah, that's nice, that is, that's what I wanted. Tucked up in there nice and tight. Uh, it won't catch on anything. I may even bend that other side around a socket too, see if I can tighten up that other side a little bit before I get this side bolted in. You know, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see if I can bend this other side a little bit more around a socket. So the easiest way, and this is the problem. So you see I've flared both these ends on this tube here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I did this, so <laughs> once these things are in here, there's no getting them off, because I wanted the hole small to give it a clean look. So I'm actually running this through like this, and then I'm flaring this while it's on this plate, uh, the firewall plate. I just find it to be a much cleaner look, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got both sides done now. Uh, backs are done, ready to tie into the uh, T there. So we're gonna put this plate back in. As I said, it's a tight little fit because you gotta feed the tubes through, uh, but we'll make it work. And then I think this plate will be done. I'll put these two bulkhead fittings in. I actually probably get those in right now. And uh, then I think this thing's looking good. So all the plumbing and fire suppression system is now done. So let me show you what I've done and then we'll start, uh, see what we can do with the cable. That may come later because I gotta get the dash in first, but you can see I've got two nozzles here and here, as I said, this will cover the um, headers, fuel system, kind of pretty much the whole engine. Uh, you can see how I've teed up into here. Uh, it's attached to the tube here with clamps. The two tubes run down. Not beautiful here, but I actually used those brackets to slide them up in there. Uh, I was gonna cut those off, but figured I'd use them. And then it's on back up into there, so. Nothing gorgeous. That stuff was not very bendable. I don't know. What, I think it was a steel tubing is what it is. And it did not want to bend easy at all. Uh, did not have fun with that. So uh, we'll get the, uh, as I said, we'll get the pull switch uh, wired up or hooked up at a later date. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode on the uh, fuel or the fire suppression system. As I said, uh, if you like this video, hit subscribe and uh, we'll keep them coming at you. Thank you.